I could so PR this for you. Make sure that you seem with a really cool guy. Um, a Justin Bieber looking like him. Oh, don't talk, Daph. She doesn't need any PR. Everybody at that wedding thinks I have a lesbian sister. How is this now about you? You pass us that butter, Sam. Claire Peacock has never got over the house swap. She's not mentally ill. She's not semi detached either, that's her problem. <laughs> Making nasty accusations because she's jealous. Lesbian, my eye. It's called friendship. Not that hers are queuing round the block. There are no dungarees in this house, thank you very much. <laughs> she I'm sorry about before. I thought you'd want me to keep my big gob shut. Yeah, definitely. You have a mum. Nasty accusations. Like being gay is disgusting. You're 50. You don't know what you are. Dad, I am in love with a girl, okay? And you're the one that's confused about that, not me. Okay, I might say the wrong thing. I'm just your clumsy old dad, and I'm not very, uh, PC. Just don't call me confused, okay? It's really insulting. Okay. And Shan's not confused either. She's just bricking it in case her dad finds out. And was you bricking about telling me? I suppose I just didn't want you to be disappointed in me. That never happened. Yeah. You say that, don't you, but deep down. You're 15. You know, it could be a phase, it could fizzle out. You wish. Have you never thought about I'm kissing Tyrone or Ashley. <laughs> no. Why? Have you? No. But Dad, you know you're straight, okay? I know I'm not. Come here. I don't want Mum to know, though. You underestimate her? No, Dad. Because you know what she's like, and she'll get mad, and she'll stop me from seeing Sean. Oh, she'll be really hurt that you didn't no, trust her. No, Dad, you can't tell her, because if okay, you tell her... OK, OK. You know what the doctor said? He told her not to get stressed out, and this will really stress her out. Hey. And on that, you've never disappointed me. You wouldn't know how to. I respect you. And I'll support you always. Will you be happy for me? I'll get there. <laughs> He's alive, which is obviously a bonus. They let me spend the night with him. Dev, we mustn't forget he's been ten. We're going up a bit later. I can't stop thinking about him. Yeah, well, that would have been more useful before you pawned him off onto two teenagers. I am sure nothing happened to us. They were looking after him. We left him with you. Yeah, I know, and I wasn't gone that long. I can't believe you're trying to pass the book like this. I'm not. Sophie and Sean are good girls. I just wanted you to have all the facts. The facts are our son almost died. And all you're worried about is how to save your own neck. Leave it! Call my daughter a lesbian again, and I'm going to get a solicitor on you for slander. Leave it! Dear me, I mean, you still got a full shilling. Maybe you need to get a solicitor of your own. You can sue the NHS. Oh, let's be in my eye. If I want Laura... It's only right, Miss on the phone. Don't worry about the pyjamas. Better lie down, I'm not off my rocker. Yeah, you. I like your jammers. How would you feel about a straight jacket? Look, that wedding's not you for six. Becky just stood up for you, she heard him. Maybe. You just gotta keep it in proportion. I'm being called a child batter, Ashley. You can stick proportion. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. You're tarred with the same brush, not as husband. That can't be much fun. I've got thick skin and a meat cleaver. Do you know what? I got to win the Nobel Peace Prize. I got climb Everest. And I'd still be loopy Clary who lost the plot and tried to kill a baby. When I was out of my mind with shh, depression. Shh, 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 shh. 
It'll blow over, love, honest. And I'm supposed to be grateful when it does? No. They might be able to forget, but I won't. I can't. People who have known me for years think that I might have hurt Addy. Lost me rag and lash type to a five-year-old boy. Underneath all the chit-chat and the fake friendliness, that's what people really think of me. Don't worry, I'm not going to kiss you. Sorry. Is it me or are people looking at us funny? It's you. You've been crying? Yeah, why aren't you? Only when I'm awake. Look, I told my dad it's true. You never. Sophie! I needed to. Yeah, well, I need to just keep your gob shut. I'm sorry. We said we'd deny it. Shiny's my dad. I wanted to. I can't believe you've done this to me. And you didn't freak out. He said he still loves me. And I uh, made up for yourself. <sighs> he wants me to tell my mum. Oh, why don't we hire the town all out, eh? And make a big announcement about it. I know we will end up telling her. And when he does, I know she won't let me see you again. Then you can visit my grave, can't you, after my dad's murdered me? I believe the cat's out the bag, girls. Congratulations. This place is like a goldfish bowl. It's just gonna get worse and worse. I can't not see you. Same. Don't you just get off, yeah? Disappear. You mean, like, run away? It's the only way we can stay together. God. <laughs> I've blown my top before. Is that right? At least I know you're better. Back to normal. You're supposed to apologise to. Hey? That's what apologies are, Kevin. We meet each other halfway. <laughs> what have I done? What if you backed me up a bit with Claire Peacock and we defended your daughter's good name? Kevin, she's being called a lesbian left, right, and centre because of that silly cow. Would it be so bad? I'm serious. If you found out Sophie was gay, would your sky fall in? What are you saying? Claire's right. Shan's more than Sophie's, mate. They're a couple. I don't believe it. I've not been wolf whistled once today. <sighs> Where are you skulking off to? You're not running away. You've got it in one. <sighs> Sophie, I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to tough it out. Unless people are gonna think it's true. It is true, okay? It's true. I'm in love with Shan, and if I stick around here any longer, Rosie, people are gonna try and split us up. Especially my mum. Please, it's Sophie. <laughs> I've said that if I'd have known. Because <laughs> apparently I need a PR strategy. Because I've been called the worst thing in the world. <gasps> Sophie! <laughs> I'm a stupid cow and you know that. <laughs> you know. <sighs> Sophie, I wish I was a kind of sister you feel you could talk to. Yeah, or you are now. <laughs> right, um. That's all I've got. Thank you. <laughs> Tell mum and dad not to worry, okay? I'll be fine. <laughs> I've got a call. <laughs> be careful, yeah? Come on, son. 
With face words, you should know that better than anyone. Don't me, Kevin. She's confused, that's all. She didn't sound confused to me. Teenage hormones. I mean, Sean will have just led her on. He said they're in love. Why did she confide in you and not in me? Because she didn't want you getting stressed. You said Claire's been making nasty allegations. I think lesbians are nasty. Of course I don't. I mean, Mary Queen of Shops, she's a lesbian. Who? Mary Queen of Shops. And I love Mary Queen of Shops. Sophie knows that, because we've watched her together <sighs> loads of times. <sighs> well, why didn't she tell you and not me? I mean, I'm a mum. I don't know. Maybe it was in the right place at the right time. Look, she's got it off her chest now. It can't have been easy for her. Do you know, Kevin, life's hard enough when you're straight. Her life is going to be so hard. One sleeping bag and one large chocolate bag. Well, I've got four royal galas, two tangerines and two cans of lemonade. Solid. <laughs> Not. Not. Mm. So, um, I was thinking scab and maybe. But the lesbian capital of your No, there's bar jobs and waitressing jobs. I mean, how much money have you got? £23. How will you give it, man? She knows you've liked it. She knows everything. And before you start kicking off, she was so supportive. She even emptied out a purse for us. I wish I had a sister. <laughs> I can share mine. She's a mare. I just... Sophie? Sophie? Has Sophie gone out? You could say that. Mum shoved you this. Oh, Kevin, we're too late. Oh, come on, Mum, don't cry. They're gonna be alright. Where have they gone? I don't know. Dad, I really don't know. When did she go? Well, about an hour ago. She went to see Sean and she was dead happy. She'd rather sleep on the streets than stop here. We've got to find her, Kevin. We've got to find her. <laughs> well, if you could let me know if she gets in touch. Thanks. Bye. No look. Scrapping the barrel now. I'm ringing friends she hardly knows. At least I know to keep a lookout. It's all a waste of time. If she was with somebody responsible, they would have rung now and said she was all right. It's eight o'clock. If she arrived somewhere late last night... Well, they still would have rung. It's all my fault. It is not. If you haven't been terrified about what I'd say... It's Sally, stop blaming yourself. My own daughter and she can't talk to me. No news. No. We've rung everyone we can think of. I was driving around till two this morning searching. I would say happy birthday, Dad, but... Thanks. Some birthday, eh? Well, if she's anything like me, Mum, when I ran away, she's soon gonna come to her senses. Yeah. Rosie's right. Yeah, and if something happens to her before that... What then? You've wronged absolutely everyone she knows. We've just drawn blanks. I mean, that's a recent picture of her, by the way. Okay, how is she for money? Well, she's got a couple of hundred in her savings account. As far as I know, that's it. Don't know whether Sean has anything. And can you think of any reason why she might have run away? She left this note. We had to get away, please understand. What does she mean? Well, Sophie and Sean have had a very close friendship just lately. It has something to do with that. Well, most girls have got close friendship with someone. Well, it's more than that. I don't know how to put it, but they've had feelings for one another. You mean they're... They think they might be lesbians. I see. So it's true. I thought it had just been gossip, but then she told Kevin yesterday. She was worried that I wouldn't approve, and we think that's why they've gone. Okay, well, we'll get these details circulated. 
What was the odds of finding her? Well, most people who run away come back fairly quickly. And the rest? I can't generalise, Mrs Webster, but every police force in the country will be notified, as well as all the missing persons agencies. We'll do everything we can to find your daughter. It's going through, Kev. Maybe. No, it's got to be. I mean, she's our boyfriend. If you do well, if you'll go look in Manchester. Hi. No sweat. Everything OK, Kev? Ah, uh, Sophie ran away from home. Oh, no. When was this? Last night with a mate, Sian. Please. There's not so much they can do, isn't there? Me and my dad's gonna go and have a look for her now. I'll get Eileen's put on alert. Hey, brilliant. Yeah, and listen, if there's anything I can do, Kevin. Thanks. You had the latest? What? So fit and shall have run away from home. No. Because the lesbians focus are you. When was this? Yesterday evening. Another thing I'll get the blame for, I suppose. You didn't turn them. No, but I did blow the cover. You've done nothing wrong. I know one thing. You were right when you said I was taking on too much. If I'd listened to you, none of this would have happened. I just wonder if there's more to this than meets the eye. How do you mean? Maybe Sophie and Sean have done something to hurt Addy. And that's why they've run away. Surely not. It makes more sense than run away because they're gay. Oh, I wish I could run away sometimes. <laughs> She's still giving me the evil eye. Just ignore her. So much for a relaxing drink. She's a sensible girl. And from what I know of Shan, she's the same. They're not going to do anything stupid. If only I'd realised what they were going through. Sally, you couldn't be a better mother if you tried. Stop reproaching yourself. Lloyd, any news? I'm afraid not, no. Is there Sophie? Yeah, all we can do is keep looking. Funny, isn't it, that? Them running off like that. Oh, hilarious. No, I'm on your side. Everyone's calling Claire for what happened to Dev's kid, but you're not telling me them two lasses didn't have something to do with it. I, I beg your pardon? Well, why else would they run off unless they've got something to hide? Come on, Sally. We don't have to listen to this. And you, keep your grubby little thoughts to yourself in future. OK. Come on, Sally. Do you know what, Eddie? You should have one of them spam filters fitted. You know, between your brain and your gob. Yes. Well, sorry. There's no getting away from it anyway. Best news ever, or what? Yay! That is the best news ever. Hiya, how's Addy? Much better, thanks. He's mm. coming home next week. So glad you care. Look, we've had enough of this victimisation. She's making Claire ill. Oh. Dev didn't mean anything funny. You know, Sophie and Sean have run away. They've had a clear conscience about Addy. Why would they do that? I can't stand this anymore, Ashley. I'm gonna go and stay at my mum's. You'll settle back down. And how long's that gonna take? He's in my face every time I go out the front door. I'm going and that's final. Hello? Sophie? <gasps> Sophie, where are you? Sophie, are you all right? <sighs> mum and Dad have been out of the mines. They've had the police round and everything. Right, where are you? And is Sean with you? Right, where did you stay last night? Hey, is that Sophie? Oh, Sophie, where are you? Oh, listen, I'm sorry if you... Sophie? <sighs> She's hung up. It's all good. Just keeps ringing out. Are you sure she didn't give you any clue where she was? Positive. Well, didn't you think to ask her? Well, I might have done one if you not snatched the phone off me. Oh, I can't believe she rang off. Maybe she just ran out of change. She hung up on me, Kevin. She couldn't bear to talk to me. Why didn't you explain to her that I wasn't angry? If I hadn't made a promise to call, I doubt she would have rang at all. What are you talking about? I saw her when she was doing a runner. So why didn't you tell us? Oh, why didn't you stop her, more like? Because there was no stopping her. Because she was determined to go, and you know what, I really don't blame her. She knew that you wouldn't understand and she was right. That's not true. There's nothing she could do that I wouldn't forgive. Mum, she's done nothing to forgive. She just wants to be yourself and you can't hack that. And she knows it. How does she expect me to react? 
put up a bunting, throw a coming out party. She just wants to feel loved. She is, and she always will be. But she's a child. She's too young to be making decisions like this. Mum, it isn't a decision. It's not when girls her age. It's all fads and passing fancies. You used to walk around like something out of the Adams family, but you grew out of it. Well, I'm nothing like Sophie. And plus, you don't just grow out of your sexuality. Look, picked it up. It's a payphone in drawers, and I'm going there now. Right, I'm coming. No, you stay here with your mum. I've got my phone. Let me know if Sophie calls back. It'll be all right, love. Yeah, Susan was always very... Could be worse, Mum. I mean, at least Sophie's still into girly stuff, like clothes and makeup and that. What? Well, you know, she's really quite feminine. She's not like old Doc Martens and flannel shirts and that. And you lecture me on prejudice. Oh, no luck then. Oh. It's round the corner from the coach station. Oh, no. Someone in the cafe remembered seeing him but didn't know where he was going. It's going to be miles away by now. No, I've narrowed it down a little bit. There's only three departures from her call to me getting there. Great. So they're somewhere between here and Bournemouth or Leeds and Glasgow. At least it's a start. The police are going to check the CCTV at the coach station to see which bus they boarded and maybe try and work out where they was going to get off from the time they bought the tickets. Well, they've gone to ground by then. They could be sleeping God knows where. I mean, it's dangerous on the streets, especially for young girls. Sophie's got a good head on her shoulders. Yeah, Dad's right, Mum. She won't take any risks. What the hell do you think this is? I just want a home, Kevin. I want a home. You don't have a word. No, oh, let me handle this, yeah? We don't want a confrontation. No, we want the truth, and frankly, I'm not fussed how we get it. Sally! Yes? Hiya, Sally. I'm sorry to bother you. I know you're going through a difficult time. Yeah, is it true that your Sophie's run away? That's right, but I'm sure she'll be back soon. Yeah, you think so? She said anything about what happened to my son? Like what exactly? Well, you want me to fill in the blanks? Come on, crack like that. I'll fill you in, Pearl. Yeah, Come on. Come on. Come on. Just say it. Grow up. Look, I know what you're thinking. I know what people are saying. But I'm telling you this. I'm proud of my daughter. Because whatever else she is, she is a good kid with a good heart. She is no liar. And she would never, ever do anything to harm another human being, let alone a child. We know that, Sally. I don't think you'd do any of you. And that is one of the reasons that she's out there now. A frightened kid who doesn't know where to turn. Now, I'm sorry for what happened to your child, but... I swear... If I hear either of you making vile accusations about my daughter again, it'll be me you'll have to hold back, not my husband. Happy now. Come on. Could have swung for Dev. As if either of them could have hurt a kid. Frank, where's Sal put my sarnies? So did you tell them why they really ran away? Well, it's none of their business, is it? Well, that you two are anti-gays. We're nothing of the sort. Yeah, until it comes to your own daughter. Well, shut up and eat your breakfast. She could have gone to Aunt Debbie's. <laughs> Not likely to have gone there. Besides, she would have told us. Well, no, if they made some up. Yeah, you're right. It's worth a try. Hi, oh, Debbie. It's me. Kevin, your brother. Yeah, I know. I keep meaning to, but you know what it's like. So, how's things? Uh, listen, you've not heard anything from our Sophie, have you? No, she's, uh, kind of run off. No, no, we're, we're the mate. Right, I just thought I'd check anyway. No, we just had a bit of a row, something and nothing. Yeah, listen, give us a ring if she does get in touch, yeah? All right, will do, bye. You know, it is pathetic. You can't even tell your own sister. I bet you'd fret if they were child beaters. Well, just lay off, will you? 
I don't care what they are. I just want her back safe and sound, OK? Yeah, well, if you and Mum hadn't reacted the way you did, maybe she'd still be here. It's all right, all right. Look, we will get her back. Somehow. I tell you, he's going off his head with worry. And Sal. I'm all right. Yeah. I mean, some folk don't have any luck, do they? It was bad enough, Sally, getting cancer, but for the kids to run off and all. Do you think we should ask them over tonight to take their mind off things? No, I don't. All right, I was only asking. I'm about to give birth, Tyrone. Don't you think we've got enough on our plates without taking on the Websters and all? I suppose. Yeah, well, you suppose, right. Just let them sort out their own problems. We've got enough to worry about. Go on, get off to work. Are you OK? I'm fine. I just wish that it would hurry up and come, that's all. Hey, three days is now. I was two weeks late when my mum had me. Great. See you later. Bye. So, yeah, OK, that's no problem. We'll be there as soon as. Bye-bye. Watch it. Sorry. You OK? Yeah. That was a breakdown. Right. What, do you want me to? No, no, you finish here. Hello? Yeah? Really? What was this? Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah? Yeah, of course I know. All right. Yeah, cheers, thanks. Bye. That was the police. Been a sighting of two girls in Manchester. Reckon that might be them. Fantastic. Do us a favour, take that break down. Yeah, of course. Cheers, mate. I told you now. Don't be daft. It could have been them. I wish to God it had been. Come here. At least it means they're out looking for them, which is something. Yeah, I suppose so. I'll just go and see Rosie, see if she's heard out. OK. Um, why are the garage clothes? Where's Tyrone? Out on a job. Out on a job? I'm about to give birth any minute and you send him out on a job. Well, I had other stuff to deal with. Yeah, well, it could have waited. Well, it couldn't, actually. And any road, he's got his mobile. You know, I wouldn't put it past you to have done this on purpose. You what? Send him out on a job just to wind me up. You know, just because you're pregnant, the whole world don't revolve around you, you know. Folk had other stuff to deal with. Don't you dare talk to me like that. You are the one that got me pregnant in the first place, remember? Hey, look, calm down. Sally's coming. Oh, yeah. And we can't upset Sally, can we? Doesn't matter about me. Well, just keep your voice down. Hey, is everything all right? Yeah. Everything's just fine. What was all that about? Ah, oh, she's just mad at me because I sent Tyrone out on a job. Well, you had to, didn't you? You had no choice. Exactly. It'll be a hormones. It's a bit trickier than I thought. Should be able to sort it though. I think I'll work through lunch. I'll have to make up what I've missed anyway. Me too. I'll get us some butty, shall I? Oh, that'd be great. Get from the cafe. Not going to that corner shop again, not after what they said. Oh my god! Oh, that was the first proper one. Are you okay? Oh, of course she's not okay, numbskull. Ring Tyrone. I did, he didn't answer. Try him again, Kevin. Come on, let's get you inside. <coughs> we'll wait with you till he comes. No, I'm fine. Don't be daft. Look, she'll be okay. Kevin, stop arguing with me and do as I say. <coughs> Come on, I'm not taking no for an answer.
bit more throttle. Maybe we should get you to the hospital. No, I'm waiting for Tyrone. Did you get him? No. I told you you shouldn't have sent him out. Oh, we thought somebody might have found Sophie. It wasn't Kevin's fault. Oh, it's all his fault. He didn't know you were going to go into labour, did he? Oh, she's right, Sal. I should have done it. I'll try him again. Would you like a glass of water? No, I would like Tyrone. And I don't need you to here. I can manage on my own. Looks like it. Oh, it brings back memories, does this? Did I tell you about when I had Rosie in a taxi? Not a drug in sight. If somebody had given me a stick, I'd just chewed it in half. Oh, come on, come on. It's a lot better when I gave birth to Sophie. I had that much gas and air, I can hardly remember a thing. I do remember holding her in my arms, though. I mean, that first time, there's nothing like it. Oh, have you thought of names? I always liked Dawson myself because Dawson's Creek was on the telly. If me and Kevin had a lad, that's what we would have called it. I don't think you're helping, Sal. Sorry, I'm just trying to take a mind off it. <laughs> that was a bit soon after the last one. Tell me about it. We have to get you to hospital. Kevin, go and get the car. No! I'm not going with him! I'm going with Tyrone! Well, Tyrone can meet you at the hospital. No! He'll be here soon. He's bound to be. Kevin, ring him again and tell him to get a move on or the baby will be here before him. Oh! Ah! All right, Kev. At last. Been trying to get you for ages. Was he then? Hey? Sophie and her mate, have they found him? No, no, listen, Molly's gone into labour. You are? She's having contractions. You still there? Yeah. Um, how is she then, is she? Oh, she's fine. But you better get home, mate. I'm on my way. Tyrone will be here soon. It hurts. I know, it does. Just keep breathing. In and out. In and out. How long was it since the last one, do you think? I don't know, a couple of minutes. Oh, it feels like a great big boulder stuck here. Oh, my God, it sounds like it's coming. It can't be. Well, it is. I don't care what you say. We're going to get you to the hospital right now. I won't die. Where is he? It's going to be all right. Just try and stay calm. Have you got the number of the hospital somewhere? It's in my birthing bag. Come on. You'd be better on the couch. Come on. Come on. There we go. Get off it! Hey, he's only trying to help. Have you found the number yet? Yeah. Get it all packed, ready. It should be Tyrone in, not him. I know, I know, love. Oh, He'll be here no. soon. Hello? Uh, yeah, I'm phoning about my neighbour, Molly Dobbs. Yeah, can you send an ambulance only she's, she's gone into labour? How long are you going to be? As long as it takes. There's billions of them. They run a cattery. <laughs> I'm allergic myself. Well, my wife is having a baby. Can't you just speed things up a bit? You could always give us a hand. And you could always move your van. Ah, but if I did that, I'd have to drive all the way around to park again. Take forever. One-way system, you see. Easy your... Right, I've had enough of this. Will you move your van? I can't leave this lot unattended. I don't care. Just move your van. No need for that tone. Right, I'll move it myself. Hey, you can't do that. Hey. Get off. Ha! 
Chloe, what do you think you're doing? Get out. Give him back now. What the? You flaming idiot! Father, I may as well go. Hey, no, you can't leave me on my own. What if something happens? <laughs> Not that it will. I want it to stop. I don't want a baby. It's a bit late for that now. Just keep on breathing. Come on. Oh, never mind the flaming breathing. I want some drugs. Look, can't she have some paracetamol or something? Paracetamol? Can't you might as well pat her on the head and go there, there, there? Well, I don't know, do I? No, you don't. I wish you could go through even a second of what I'm going through. It's not Paul. <laughs> Anyway, Look, I'll give him a ring, see what's keeping him. Oh, I want a bush! No, you can't! I have to! No! Just hang on till the ambulance gets here. Come on, blow! Okay. All right, all right, it's not my fault. Ty, where the hell are you? I've lost the keys to the truck. How did that happen? Never mind that, I was Molly. How do you think? Just get here, Ty. Oh, I don't care now. Just do it. The baby's coming. No, he can't. Not without me. Just tell her to wait. What? You mind stepping out of the vehicle, please? And what do I do? Well, hold her hand, give her something to grip on. It's not his job, it's tight. Yeah, I know, and he'll be here very soon, I promise you. Oh, hello. Creep away from me. You've done enough damage already. I wish I'd never set eyes on you. You're saying out to sell, will you? Oh, like a damn about your poxy little life. I just want this to be over. This is supposed to be the best day of my life, and it's ruined. Yes, I know, and I'm sorry. What are you doing? Sal, Sal! Hurry up, please! Oh no, you can't go down there, get back on the couch! Don't you tell me how to give birth to my own baby just because you've done it, it doesn't give you copyright! Can't give birth now! I don't care what you say, I have to push! Oh my god, why didn't you just go to hospital? Right, move this flaming table, Kevin, while I wash my hands. And find some towels! Right, where are them? I don't know, just find some. In the basket! Honestly, men, you've got no idea. You lot are moments from we get all the agony. I hope you remember this. Well, uh, I'll leave you to it. Received. Well, all seems legit. See, I told you, I was only trying to hotwire it because I'd lost the keys. Well, because the van man threw them away. The one with the cat food? Yeah. And I'm going to have a baby. Well, not me, no, but my wife. But it's our first one, he's on his way and I'm going to miss it all. Come on, keep pushing. Oh, God. Yes, he can, come on. Come on, now. Can you see the top of his head? Cheers, mate. You're welcome. About flaming time. Molly, I'm so sorry. Oh, come round this side. You're not going to see much round there. You're doing really good. That's it. Come on. Go on, Molly, push. Oh, my God, it's him. Keep moving. Keep moving. You're all right. Come on, little one. Well done, Molly. He's here. It's our little boy. Is he all right? He's fine. <laughs> Here you go, Dad. Congratulations. He's a big, healthy boy. He looks so. Oh, look, there's Molly and Tyros. 
little baby, let's have a look. Hiya. Hiya. Oh, is it asleep? Well, I hope so, because he didn't do much sleeping last <laughs> night. Have you got a name for him yet? Yeah, but uh, there's someone we've got to tell first before we tell anybody else. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, hey, Ken. Hi, hi. So, this is the little guy they're all talking about. Ah, what are you calling him? Ah, well, uh, do you want to go and have a look? No, they're not safe, aren't they? Bye-bye. OK, bye. Yeah. No bars bye. won't be. <sighs> Just been watching out of that bedroom window. There's Tyrone, proud as punch, taking his baby for a walk. I wonder if people tell him he looks like him, cos I don't think he does. <sighs> and anybody who look like Tyrone, would you want it to? <laughs> That's our lovely daughter. Yeah, I know. Where are you, Sophie? I'm gonna get hundred of these run off, go down bus stations and places, stick them up. And if there is that God she believes in, I hope he's looking after her. Well, if he is, I believe in him myself. Right, better get going. I'll see you later. Mm -mm. Bye. Hey, are you gonna pop in and see the baby? Uh, if I've got time. I've got a list to do, Anna. He must have been scared to death, thinking he was going to have to do the delivery himself. Well, what was he doing here, anyway? It's complicated. It doesn't matter now. Well, I was out on a job and I couldn't get back. Well, why won't Kevin the one out on the job? Auntie Pam, I've said it doesn't matter. Anybody home? Yeah, of course we are. Come in. It's not something me or Kevin wanted to just leave it, OK? Hey, right, where is it? Where is it? Oh. Oh, oh, carnival, little love. Oh. Ah, <laughs> sight for sore eyes. Oh, congratulations, oh. lovey. Thanks. Hey, do you want to have an old? Yeah, no, no, I better sit down. I don't want to drop in here. <laughs> so how is his mummy doing? Yeah, really well, except my husband keeps going on <clears> about the birth. Which makes me feel like I keep going through it again and again. Oh, well, then tell him to stop. Yeah, I have. Right, are you ready for him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you oh. go. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh, and uh, with something we want to tell you, if you want to do it. No, go on, you're dying to. We're going to call him Jack. <laughs> you know, are you? Of course we are. After you. He'll end up with a load of bad habits, you know, don't he? <laughs> like supping and backing horses and, and everything, you know. But he'll have a good heart. <laughs> something we both want. Mm. Little Jack Dobbs. <sighs> Wonderful, that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, four of your biggest rolls. Oh, you're not uh, using these to repair cars, now, are you? No. <laughs> it was meant as a joke. You can see it's not appreciated. That's just eight pounds, please. Just heard about you. Hero of the hour, by all accounts. Yeah. Oh, you happen to be on the spot while Tyrone's miles away, just as our Molly's giving birth? I didn't plan that. That's the last thing I wanted. I don't want anything to do with her or the baby, OK? If you say so. I do. Only it's not that simple, with everyone going on about, oh, have you seen the baby? Why don't you go across? I'm staying as far away as I can. <laughs> Two pounds change. <laughs> well, somebody's in a mood today, aren't they? <laughs> what, what, uh, what was he saying to you? Oh, do you know, I can't quite remember now. <laughs> um, oh, I'll have a quarter of them mint imperials. Oh, it's not... It's lovely. Oh, Jack, it's gorgeous. Oh, I don't know who was more scared, me or you. Oh, me, I think. Um, and if I didn't say it before, thanks. Well, it makes me feel like I've got a very special relationship with you. And you have. Which is why we want you and Kevin to be godparents, don't we? Well, did you hear that? Kevin and Sally are going to be little Jake's godparents. <laughs> well, he couldn't have better. Um, Sally hasn't said yes yet, and she might want to check with Kevin. Well, I'll ask him, but he'll be the same as me. We'd both be delighted. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Any pickles? Um, you haven't heard anything? No, not a word. Nothing in the post, and the phone hasn't rung. I mean, why is she doing this to us? No, I put posters everywhere I can think of, so you never know. Oh, there is something I do have to tell you, though. Tyrone and Molly have asked us to be godparents to their baby. Who, by the way, is going to be called Jack? Jack? No, it's not a name I would have chosen, but... And you said Tyrone and Molly asked? Both of them? 
Well, it was Tyrone, actually. But Molly seemed happy enough. Of course I said we would. To be honest, I would have been annoyed if they'd asked anybody else. Don't tell me you've come because you just had to have a look at him. It's Tyrone, it? Walking Jack and Connie to the bus stop. I decided I wasn't going to have anything to do with him. I decided you wouldn't as well. I wasn't going to call. I wasn't going to talk about him, nothing. Which I think is best. It's not that simple, though, is it? With everyone expecting me to be interested, expecting me to be calling round. And now you and Ty's asked us to be godparents. Well, Tyrone did, yeah. And what am I supposed to say about that? You're supposed to say no. Think of an excuse. Like what? I don't know. Tell you what's bugging me. I'm the villain in all this. I'm the one who's done wrong. I'm the one that should be kept away. Or better still, just disappear. That's what you'd really like to happen to me, innit? Just disappear off the face of the earth. This'll be Tyrone. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, but I'm not disappearing for anyone. All right, Kev. <laughs> Come to see our baby Jack. Yeah, he's, he's looking good. <laughs> uh, no, the main thing was uh, about me and Sally being godparents. Oh, yeah. Are you okay with that? Because there is nobody we'd rather have. You used to was way top of the list. Oh, thanks. So? Just, we'd love to. It'd be an honour. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll leave you to it. I, uh, I just wanted to let you know. Well, I'm glad you have. Woke up and you're gone. Is he okay? Yeah, yeah, he's fine. He's just a bit peckish. Oh. Go back to bed. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. <sighs> just had a brilliant idea. Yeah? Why don't we take him down to Rovers tonight, give everyone a chance to wet the baby's head? Oh, I don't know about that. I'm dead on my feet here. I'll do it then. Give you a chance to get some proper sleep. We'll see, eh? Mm. <laughs> Fancy a brew? Go back to bed. One of us should get some rest. Nobody should be up at this time in the morning. So please come. Hello? It, it's me. Uh, Sophie! Oh, what are you doing? I'm just ringing to let you know that, well, I'm okay. Well, we're okay. And just to tell everyone not to worry. Right, well, where are you? I don't matter where I am. Can you just stop mum and dad now, please? Uh, no, no, S Sophie, you have to come home now. Do you hear me? You have to come home. So Didn't you call us? I told you to call us if you phoned. Dad, I did call you. Yeah, after she'd hung up. Well, how could I call you if I was speaking to her? If I'd have called you, she would have just hung up. Why do you think she ran away in the first place? Look, she was just on the phone for one minute. She just wanted to let you know that she was OK. He told her to come home? Yes. So did she say anything? Give any clues about where she was? No. So, we don't know anything? Well, we know that she's safe and that she's happy. Well, did she say she was happy? I don't know, maybe. Well, did she sound happy? Well, she sounded like you sound when you ring your mum and dad, tell them you're fine and not to worry. You could just call him for a quick one. Jack's coming over. Yeah, mate. Seeing as though you're going to be the godfather. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll try, but you know how things are with Sophie. Yeah. Who knows what kind of trouble baby Jack's going to get into, eh, when he gets bigger? Well, Sophie's not in trouble. She's not done anything wrong. No, I, I know, but, you know, kids. Hey, up. I'm taking my son for his first drink in the Rovers. Fancy joining us? Uh, yeah, thanks. You can have hold of him if you like. Get some practice in. All right, I'll see you later. <sighs> Don't start. I've made my decision. You are not going to be my baby's godfather. No choice. We live on the same street. I work with your husband. My wife delivered your baby. I don't care. I don't want you anywhere near us. Look, I know you've just had a baby, but you've got to wake up. Things don't always work out the way you want. Sometimes you just got to grit your teeth and accept it. I'm... Hey, are you all right? I should be getting back. Dad. 
that? Everything's fine. Let's have a little spang some mash. Did she say anything? What well, might give us a clue about where she is? Dad, how many times? She didn't want us to know. She just wanted to tell us that she was okay. She's 15, out there on her own. Yeah, well, she's not on her own, is she? Two of them, out there. Anyway, what was going on before with you and Molly? What do you mean? Dad, I'm not stupid. She was seriously cheesed off with you. And I just don't understand why. Oh, it was nothing. What, the way that you're speaking to her? I know what it was. What? Tyrone. She was angry with you because she sent Tyrone on that breakdown and he nearly missed the birth of his baby. Am I right or am I right? Yes, you're right. Thank you. My private education was not wasted. I do understand people. <laughs> oh, you I can't believe it. It's so tiny. Hey, you'd have thought you'd be the first to be a dad. Have you got a girlfriend, Kurt? Not strictly speaking. I went out with Fizz for a while. Really? Yeah, after me. And you, eh? We discussed having kids. Hey, you'll be next. Yeah. It's not to be scared about, mate. It's great. It's like the best thing that could ever happen to you. <laughs> Hiya, what can I get you? White wine, Tom. You look nice. What's that supposed to mean? It means you look nice. Sorry if a compliment offends you. So how do I normally look? Like a tramp? No, you always look nice, but tonight you look particularly nice. I don't like to leave the paper. Kirk can handle it, Tommy's a puppy. Come on. Right, I'm just gonna go and help Jack with the drinks. Just be careful, you. Don't drop him. I think he likes me. Right. Don't make this difficult. Why, what's up? I want to give you something and I want you to promise that you'll take it. What is it? Promise first. How can I promise if I don't know what it is? It's something nice, okay? Something nice? Like what? Promise me you will accept it. Are you sure it's nice? It's not like a Chinese burn or a jar full of spiders. Nice. I promise. All right, I promise. Five thousand quid, Jack. I can't accept this. Yeah, but then you can't break a promise. Mm. So I don't need it. You've got another mouth to feed. Make me happy. Take the money. Trick me. Yeah. It wasn't that hard. Right. Well, you have to accept something from me. I said what? A big fat hug. He definitely looks like you. Really? I can't see it. I think he looks like Wayne Mooney. Oh, look at him, he's got a great big happy spud face. No offence. No, none taken. Where's Molly? Oh, she's at home getting some rest. Apparently this baby thing's quite tiring. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about it. You've got all this to look forward to. And me. I think I stick to cigar smoking and showing off from the pub. Hey, I do me a bit, I know. Not the difficult bit. It's our job. I think I'll get off now. What, are you not going to come over and see Mark? No, no, no. Let, let, let her have a rest. Then. Hey, listen. I'll spend every penny of this on me, son. You spend it which way you want, son. You're a good lad. One of the best. <laughs> Can I hold him? Yeah. You'll have one of your own soon. Better get some practice in then. There you go. Oh, support, support his head. head. <laughs> You'll make a lovely dad. Yeah. Excuse, please. Pregnant lady needs the loo. Is she all right? Yeah, she's fine. Can you get me a copy of the scan? I'd love to send it to Sarah. Yeah, sure. Ask Natasha. Five more minutes and I should be getting back. Yeah. What? You're right. He's less than my laptop. <laughs> Five more minutes and we're going home. <laughs> you said that half an hour ago. Will you be so besotted when yours arrives? <laughs> I'll be worse. <laughs> I'll warn you. Oh, I wonder what you're after. Can't want to see a mate, can I? <laughs> Some mate you are. A mate and a colleague. Oh, double the disloyalty then. <sighs> leave it out, Pam. Wish she'd leave you out. Have a life. Only Pam! Oh, Pam! Hiya. Come in. All right, mate. Clearly not just me, cos Kevin's here too. Now, where's that baby? He's up here with me, Pam. Come up if you like. Oh, 
I have bought the most beautiful cuddly bunny rabbit. <laughs> Wait till you see it. Hey, I paid for it and all. I've got receipt to prove it. <laughs> can you open the garage for us, I've got to go looking for our sofa. Uh, yes, you can. I'm here now. What's that way? He's asleep. <laughs> Bless him. Hey, you're a natural arm, Molly. Oh, I don't know if I'm coming or going. Well, that's why I'm here, my dear. Thank you, Auntie Pam. What? Tyrone seems to have bonded with him. Of course he has. He's his dad. Is he? Pam, please. I'm only saying. Well, don't. You know, I put that Jeremy Kyle on some mornings. Oh, I turn into a right snob. Folks making a mess of their lives. DNA tests. Pam. You know, girls who, in the heat of the moment, say to the fellas, Ebby's not yours. Fellas get upset and drag them on national telly. Yeah, well, I won't say anything like that. And I sit there in judgement. How come folks live their lives like that, eh? And then I come in here. Well, I won't. Tread carefully, Molly, lover. You're messing with people's hearts now. Hearts is fragile things. Um, Jack gave us five grand the other day. The baby. Well, he gave it to Tyrone. So Tyrone's bought his way onto the birth certificate. I didn't say that. Because last time I had great dogs, the food still stuck to me. Alright, sorry, mate. You look proper fed up, Sean. Listen, a few of us are going to go and see a bit of comedy tonight. Why don't you come with? I'm skin. You're always skin. Here you are in sunny Sheffield, and all you ever see is the inside of this crappy place. Yes, tell me about it. What's so? So, don't cry. I've been trot out of our room. No. How come? Bet you've been taking fellas back, haven't you? See, Shan, we're a week behind with the rent. I'm not supposed to give you the deposit back, did you? Do you think? Well, this is a nightmare, so we've got no room and no money. What are we gonna do now? There you go. Cheers, I'll get it out of the bin. I hope you don't mind. It'll be fine. I ran a damp tea towel over it. Mike, uh, it's a winding around. You're hysterical, yeah. It has been said. Don't stress about finding somewhere. You can crash at mine. Really? It's a bit rough around the edges. So? Beggars can't be choosers. You'll have to sleep on the floor. That's all right with us, isn't it, so? If you're interested, give me a shout, yeah? Thank you. Sophie? Yeah, well, I don't care, Sham. We hardly know him. OK, what if he's some kind of perv or something? It's all right. Anyway, it's not like he's living on his own. He's like ten other students. I suppose their safety in numbers. Exactly. And it's only going to be for a night or two. Yeah? Yes. Have we no biscuits? Oh, you're a biscuit mad woman. In fact, I'd go as far as to say you're addicted. You might be right. I mean, I won't even get out of bed till I've had half a packet of bourbons. Hello, Kevin, love. Any news? No, the police have no new leads. What did you want to get his on crime watch? Not been a crime, no, has they? They've only run away. Sophie's a sensible girl. I'm sure she'll be all right. <sighs> Thanks, so. Bye. Yeah. Bye. You, you've not had a water feature fitted in the back, have you? Don't be daft. I'm sure I can hear something. Jason, what are you doing now? I'm going home for the snooze. I know you're not. You're coming with me. Where? Sheffield. Why? I need to go pick up my sister. What, just like that? Jason, this is an emergency. All right, well, I can go if you take the spot. Oh, that is so vain. Anyway, it's only got two seats. Well, does your old man know I'm taking his car? Right, we haven't got time for questions. Anyway, you can talk. That's a wardrobe call nightmare. Right, anyway, come on. Rangle. 
for Brown Rosa. She's coming to get us. Sophie! No, but we've got nowhere to stay tonight. That's why I'm looking. Yeah, but Shan, we have got no money, OK? Look, Shan, it was going to end sooner or later. You know that. No, I don't. Stop being such a madder. Oh, you've picked up the lingo, haven't you? Shan! No, I'm being serious. We're just sneaking off behind my back and making decisions and we're meant to be a couple. We are a couple, OK? Your family's going to stand by you. We both know full well, Soph, that mine won't... You in? Any word? What's wrong? This. Hi, Dad. Had to lend you a car. Saws lol, Rosie. P.S. It's well urgent. Well, Rosie can't drive. One missing. The other killed in a car wreck. Where did we go wrong, Sal? Oh, my dad's been ringing me again. Are you sure you know how that thing works? Of course I do. If I wanted to, I could get us from here to, say, the pyramids. Yeah, well, let's just speak to Kate's car of Sheffield, eh? <sighs> oh, it's losing battery. Come on. Well, that's not going to help, is it? Why don't we just get out and ask someone? I am not walking around like this. Well, you should have got dressed properly before you set off. Well, why don't we just keep driving round? I'm sure we're going to come across it. Oh, yeah, we'll just drive round till we see it, eh? Because petrol's free and Sheffield's tiny. Oh, this is just dead. Oh, it's mad, isn't it? My brother and your sister. What about them? Well, both turned out like this. I think it's really cool. Some girls these days, you can't tell. I mean, they're always holding hands and stuff, aren't they? Jason, Sophie and Sean are in love. They've run away from home because the world can't accept that. Wait a minute, let me ask this fella. Excuse me, mate. Do you know where Kay's cafe is? It's near the bus stop and some trees. <sighs> Sophie! Oh, she's here. Why oh, is she wearing? It was an emergency, actually. Wait, what's he doing here? Well, I needed a driver. Does he not? What about you two? Of course he does. He loves it, don't you, Jason? Listen, I'm Mr. Gay Weatherfield. Is there any need for sarcasm? No, seriously, I'm. Yeah, and plus his brother's gay. Is there? Yeah, gayest. Completely gay. Doesn't mean we don't love him, though. Yeah, I don't know, Sean. Like, being a lesbian, it's like wearing a badge of honour. I so wish I was one. Well, why don't you give it a whirl, Rosie, eh? <laughs> Jason, shut up. Go pay the bill. Me? Yes, you. I mean, they've got no money. Ah. Are they going mad? Yeah, they're worried sick. And they're really confused. But you heard Jason. I mean, if Kyle and Grimshaw can get ahead round it, then so can Mum and Dad. Have they spoken to my parents? I don't think so. Look, Shana, it'll be fine. I mean, yeah, it will be hard at first. Eventually, you will get the head round it. My dad screams at the telly when a woman has short hair. Well, I want to stay here because I'm not ready to go just yet. Shan, no! Look, we have got to go home. Come home. We need to hurry up and decide because I'm part of the single yellows outside. <sighs> no, look, just take all the time that you need. I'm going to try her again. Everything's falling apart. Ah. Oh. Fawn's not even on now. Probably broke it. You've seen the way she bashes it against things to try and make it work. Well, she gets that from you. She gets what from? Where the hell have you been? Just like that! Right, it was an emergency. I hope you've not been driving my car. Dad, no, I haven't drove your car. Jason Grimshaw drove it. We had to go and get someone. What? <gasps> Sophie. Oh. <laughs> oh. Please don't hate me. Where on earth have you been? How could we ever hate you? Where did you get to? Um, Sheffield. Sheffield? Why? Well, we just sort of ended up there. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Where did you stay? I was just having a cup of tea and then we'll tell you everything. Since when did you start drinking tea? <laughs> That's Yorkshire for you, eh, Kev? We're OK on our own. Oh, Sean, but you're still children. But you're back safe and sound. Thank you, Jason. Thank you so much. No, it's all right. Rosie got it sorted. I just did as I was told. Yeah, I suppose you can go back now and get that snooze. <laughs> yeah. Welcome home, Sophie. Thank you. Just don't be running off again. I was the last afternoon I want to spend with your sister. <laughs> Good. Look, I'm not complaining, but he wouldn't have been insured. Jason Grimshaw is so thick it's untrue. <laughs> Sophie, you promise me you'll never do anything like that ever again. Oh, well, oh come here. Oh, you go away, child, and you come back drinking tea. Oh. Oh, 
Putting on cheesy conditioner adverts. I've seen the light. It smells like home. <laughs> How about roast potatoes, lamb chops and loads of green veg? Oh, that'd be great, thank you. Well, sit down. Let's get a takeaway. No, I want to get some onion down the next, Kev. We're fine, Mrs Webster. Luckily, anything could have happened to you. Mum, don't stress. You know what the doctors have said? Yeah. And so has been stressing about you stressing. All right, pair, aren't we? Mum! You ran away because of me. Because of how you thought I was going to react. No, I pushed her into it. You're like the most reasonablest parent ever compared to my dad. What? I phoned him up while he was in the shower. Why? We had to let him know you were OK. Mum, we'll, we'll ring him back and tell him she's fine and she'll be home tomorrow. Well, don't you think he'll want to see that for himself? Sean, he is your dad. He'll just want to make sure you're in one piece. Hello, Vinny. Hi. Look at him, eh? Butter wouldn't melt. Sorry, Dad. What the hell were you playing at? We just needed to get away. Do me a favour. Whose brainwave was it? No, it was mine. Oh, I'm Spartacus. Thick as thieves, you two. Right pair of drama queens. Well, they're back now. That's the main thing. You reckon? Her mum's loved this. Reckons it's me she was running away from. That's done the rounds with all the snobby Southport mates. Bad dad Vinny. Look, why don't you sit down and I'll make us a cup of tea? No, ta. Go on. Go and get your stuff. We needed to get away. Look, I don't know about you, Vin, but I could murder the bear. Right. She's a selfish little cow, like a mother. Thought you had a bit more about you, Sean. I mean, have you two had a decent explanation? Because I know I haven't. Well, it was a bit of an adventure, you know, rites of passage. You're grounded. Till Christmas. Oh. Any arguments, it'll be Easter. Come on, shift. <laughs> oh, give me strength. Switch off the waterworks and get in the car. Dad, will you do something? It's not my place. Oh, I'll tell you why we ran away. We're in love, OK? Me and Sophie are in love. With each other. We're in love with each other and we're a couple. You're not lesbian. You bits of kids. Um, no, Miss Powers. They, they so are lesbians. They're like, properly in love. This is down to her. You were in love with that Ryan lad five minutes ago. No, not like I love Sophie. Shut your stupid mouth! Don't you dare speak to her like that. Look, it's a shock. Me and Sally know what you're going through. I'm not going through anything, mate. My daughter's no flaming lesbian. And look at her. She can have any bloke she wants when she's older. This is all down to born-again loony tunes. Hey, you're out of line. Dad, we kiss and we hold each other. We're in love. You grubby cow. Get out of my house. Sean is stopping here. We can accept them for who they are, even if you can't. Kids is what they are. You coming or what? <laughs> no. Go. And what have you disrespected like that, either of you? I'm still not happy about this, girls, but I'm doing my best to accept it. And, Sean, you're very welcome to stay here, love, as long as you want, isn't she, Kevin? Yeah, of course you can. And, Sean, um, why don't we get your parents over later? For what? Round two? No, to talk. Look, I've been thinking. I mean, we can't go on like this, can we? It's fine you stopping over for a few days, but we can't go on forever, can we? Yeah, well, you saw what my dad was like yesterday. Well, we'll make sure your mum's here, too. Yeah, and what good's that gonna do? Well, he'll have slept on it. He's bound to be calmer. Oh, I don't know. What's your mum's number? Hmm? Did you speak to Dev about his flat? Uh, yeah. He said we could move in tomorrow. Oh, lovely. If we bung him a month's rent in advance, I've been spoiled living with you. Mm, indeed you have. 
I just hope, for Mr. Allahan's sake, his office is not below your new bathroom, or he'll be forking out for laptop repairs as well. <laughs> See, I fancy he has many state-of-the-art gadgets in his office space, and I just wonder if he knows what he's letting himself in for. Morning. Hello, Sally, love. Oh, Sally. Now, I hear your daughter's back safe and sound after her little, uh, well, diva tismal. If I knew what that meant, Norris, I might be able to answer you. <laughs> but I mean, what was the reasoning behind the disappearance? I just came in to get something for my cousin's birthday. Well, you can hardly pretend it's a well-kept secret that your daughter's gay. Norris! Why don't you go and put kettle on? Because I'm not thirsty. Well, I am. Now then, Sally, love, how are you feeling? Well, I was just wondering, uh, do you fancy going for a coffee later, Roy's? Listen. I've had enough. I can't cope. I just need half an hour's sleep, that's all, please. But I've got to go to work. Tyrone, please. You were useless last night, you slept through every feed, every time you cried. Do you put concrete in your ears before you go to sleep or summer? But what? But, but what do you think I do all day? Just sit around taking the mick out of loose women, texting me mates? Well, you used to. Well, not anymore. Molly. What? Why don't I give Sally a ring, eh? See if she'll call round on a lunch. Why? So you can get some rest. Do you know what, Tyrone? What? Just... you go to work. <gasps> you must be glad to have Sophie back. Is Sophie gay? <gasps> well, how wonderful, wonderful that you brought her up so well. She knows her own mind and what she wants from life. And bright enough to get her head round it. Not so easy for the likes of you and me, though, eh? And isn't it great that this is 2010? And she hasn't got to hide anything. Like she would have when I was younger. And when you were younger. She's my baby. And that hasn't changed. I found him working. I told Carla the truth. Mm. I couldn't come in because of what happened. Do you know what she said? Mm. She said, I understand Sally because my niece is a dyke. Mm. <sighs> I mean, gay is bad enough. Lesbian, I struggle with, but dyke. Oh, why are there so many words for it? Why does it sound so hateful? I mean, why can't she just be normal? She is normal, Sally. She's a pretty girl. She's got lovely hair, long hair. And she wears makeup. Oh, Sally. I, I can't be honest with her. I, I can't tell her I'm struggling with it. If I tell her the truth, she's gonna run off again and pretending it's just killing me. Hello, you. Yeah. Hello. Hey, Sean. Fiddle. Yeah. All right. Oh, Sean. Yeah, all right. Less of the water works. Finny. Look, uh, we've asked you down there just to. Try and clear the air a bit. Hi. Thanks for putting her up. Oh, that's OK. Look, I'm not being funny. I know you two are probably like, well, dead PC and all that, yeah? But we're not. Pack your bags, Sean, we're going. Hey, Sal's made some posh coffee through there. Come on, Sean. We can sort this out if we just get you away from here. What do you mean by that? Look, Sophie's not a bad influence. Oh, isn't she? Dad! Hey, this isn't some house of ill repute. <sighs> Funny how my daughter weren't no leso till she hooked up with your freak of a daughter. Dad, Tevin. Look, just take that back. What is this, the playground? <sighs> Girls, why don't you go in the conservatory and we'll try and talk, OK? I'm not stopping here. You are. Oh, come on, Sean. We've got nothing to say on the matter. Speak for yourself. Oh, I stand corrected. Yeah, I've got plenty to say. It's just you two might not like to hear it cos you're a pair of bleeding-out liberals. What? How do you take your coffee? White one, sugar. Really? I don't want anything of yours, mate. Yes, yeah, it white two sugars. Okay. I've got I've got some nice biscuits. I mean, would you like to sit soft? Fingers, Graham. 
Guess what? So I've sorted it all out with Dev and we can move in straight away. You're joking. Is this the face of a joker? <laughs> oh, kettle on, Norris, please. You all right? What's the matter? I don't know. Well, I do know. Oh, I don't know what's going on. I've just been shopping. Oh, was the Arndale Centre a nightmare? And I went to use my credit card. It was refused. Welcome to my world. No. It was refused because somebody's been using it behind my back. Someone's stolen it. I spoke to my... Oh, it was... Rita, Rita, come on. Come and sit down. I'm over my limit because somebody has been using my credit card over the phone. I don't care. I'm always so careful with my details. They bought a telly and a posh barbecue and something from an adult shop. Are you sure you're not just saying it to cover up your own Ms. little... Graham. Sorry. <laughs> you know whose fault this is. Yours for dragging us to too many football matches. Look, it's nobody's fault. Yours for making her go to that church all the time. Since when did going to church turn you gay? Blokes in dresses. Yeah, it's not right. Oh, shut up, Vinny. Hey, they're in the conservatory. She can't hear you, you know. She needs kicking into touch. She needs your support. Look, we know it's hard to get your head round, but I don't think it never knocked us for six. But they love each other. And you think this is all right, do you? So what to do? There's no law against it. No, there's never been a law about lesbians. I've Googled it. Oh, there should be a law against you two. Encouraging it under your own roof. Hey, do you get some kind of perverse kick out of it? Dad! <laughs> you don't come into my house and speak to me like that. You tell him, Dad! You invited me. You begged me to stay. Yeah, you want locking up. Look, Sophie's no fool, you know. Yeah, but neither am I. No, but she's twisted my daughter's mind. She's abused her. Oh, shut your mouth! Get out. Sean's 15. I'm 16, our church just shows how much you know. Get out before I throw you out. Vinny, I think you better go. You've been no good to nobody. You don't scare me, mate. Not your mate. Vinny, do you know what? You sit around here saying it's all OK. Do your worst. Get the weirdos married off for all I care, cos guess what? He's always like the sound of his own voice. I'm over it. I wash my hands of you. Yes, yeah, snap! You're not my daughter anymore. I can see why we split up. Shine, I hate this. All we seem to be doing is just upsetting people. Don't stuff it. I can pack school in and I can get a job and get a flat. We can live together, Sophie, you and me. Shine, you can't just give everything up. Chuck everything away just like that, just because of me. It's not just because of you, is it? It's because of me. It's because of them in there, my so-called mum and dad, and my so-called family, and my so-called life. They'll come round to the idea. Bet any money on it. There's not enough money in the world to bet on that one. You all right, Jack? Ah, you all right, love? Yeah, yeah, we've got to be quiet. Molly's having to lie down with baby. All oh, right, sorry, sorry, sorry. What are you doing? Would it be all right if I stopped here for a while? Why? Long story. Yeah, of course. Oh. Do you want a brew? I've just made one. Oh, yeah. It's our lads. Oh, nice to see Jack back. Is he all right? Yeah, I think so. I don't really know. I think I'm just about to find out. All right. Jack, you can keep that. Oh, cheers. There you go, old boy. I've got these. I'll be daft. It's the least I can do. We'll get your laughing gear on that. No matter where you go, there's not like a pint in the room. So, go on. Spill the beans. What beans? Have you and Connie had a row? Hey, she's not sleepwalking again. No, she? me and Connie have not had a row. Rattling your door wrangling in the middle of the night, eh? Ziff. So how come you're back? Do you need a reason? Well, it is a bit odd. I just thought I'd have a change of scenery, that's all. Jack, what is it? Change the subject. But we're not talking about anything. If you must know. Very good with words. Well, this is something wrong, something serious. Oh, come on, would you listen to yourself? There's something wrong, something serious. Don't be daft. If you really want to know why I come back, it's because I'm missing you. I don't want to spend a bit more time with Baby Jack. Stupid flame. <laughs> come on, what have I been missing? What, me and Molly? <laughs> oh, tickle tackle, you know, a bit. Yeah, 
Oh, right. Oh, you know Sophie Webster? Mm -hmm. She's Lebanese. Look, I know it comes out all wrong, but he means well. Well, he didn't seem that well-meaning before. And I kind of know where he's coming from. The age of them, Sally. I mean, I might not go to church like you do, Janet, but I did bring both my girls up with very good morals. Oh, my God. I've never been poked and prodded so much in my whole life. Hey, babe. If I had a pound for every guy that pinched my bum today, I could get a boob job at the size of Jordan. Hi. Don't look down your nose at me. Rosie went to private school. Which one, St Trinian? Well, I can't see why Sean can't live with you. I'm sure she would absolutely love that. I mean, you are a mother. Look, I've got no problem with our Sean being a gay. Each to their own, I say. It's well, just... hallelujah at that at last. Well, things are really hard at the moment. I've got this new partner. He's just moved in. I don't want to live with you anyway. Yusuf, they call him. Sells fruit machines. Place is full of them. Look, my bedroom is full of them, you mean. Well, if her own mother doesn't want her... Don't make me out to be the villain. I'm a good mother. Oh, yeah, your love life is more important than your daughter. Well, she never went without, did you, Sean? Well, she's going without now. She's going without a roof over her head. I've not had much luck in my life, have I, Sean? Oh, so is she would get that from, is it? And I really want to make a go of it with Yusuf. Oh, I wonder why you ever had kids in the first place. Thanks for the tea. Only, uh... You know, I don't understand what the problem is. Lesbians are well cool, especially the lipstick ones. I've got no problem with lesbians, no matter what flavour they come in. You know where I am, if you need me, love. Thank you, Sally, for sticking up for me with my mum and dad. I wish they was like you. I wish you was my mum. Oh, don't say that, Sean. I'm hardly Mother Teresa. No, I mean it. Do you need to get some more stuff from your dad's? You can stay here as long as you want, obviously, mm. under the condition that you behave yourselves. Yeah, so that means no ripping each other's clothes off while watching Midsummer Murders. Rosie! <laughs> Come on, we've took the vow of chastity. Let's go and unpack some more of your stuff, eh? Hey. Thank you. Oh, isn't it great? What? The lesbo vibe, I love it. I hope you don't turn into one and all. How's it going? Hey. Hello. This. Look, you're doing great. No, I'm not. I keep thinking. What? She'll never have a family. Look, it's different from when we was younger. Of course she can have a family. She can have as many kids as she wants. Adoption. Oh, all right. You don't have to go into detail. She needs to drag it out of him yet while he's tipped up here all of a sudden. No, not really. Well, he's not falling out with Connie, has he? I don't think so. He said he was just missing us and wanted to stay for a bit. Oh, yeah. Massive house with a pool table and a beer fridge. Oh, a two up, two down with a screaming baby and two zombified parents. It's a tough call. We are his family. Might phone Connie. She'll give me it low down. No, Jack won't like you sticking your neb in. He's all right to stay for a bit, isn't he? Mm, of course he is, although he better not stay too long. We'll end up sharing bunk beds with Jack Jr. I miss so much, you know, we're gonna be well behind. Well, that's the least of our worries. Yeah, what are we gonna tell everyone? No, the truth. We've got nothing to hide. Yeah, no, but we're gonna tell the teachers. Oh. I'll get my mum to write us a note. Dear sir, Sophie and Sean have been absent because they have been struck down by lesbianitis. <laughs> Don't be daft. We've got that meeting today. We could talk things through. <laughs> yeah, thanks for signing it. Well, we'll see in the head at half past ten. Can you go and make yourselves decent, please? They have missed rather a lot of school. Well, as I said, they've had personal problems. Would you care to elucidate? No, not really. It said it's personal. I have, of course, heard the rumours. Maybe you'd like to take this opportunity to set the record straight. I'm trying to be funny? Not at all. Well, me and Sean are together, if that is what you try to get at. So your continued absence from school was due to relationship problems? They didn't run off to Lesbos to live in a yurt. Things have been difficult for them, impossible. They've had a lot to cope with. That's as may be, but running away wasn't the answer. 
They've missed so much schooling, there's no hope of them catching up. Oh, and doesn't that just suit you fine? Mrs. Webster, I assure you... You can assure me all you like. I can see exactly what you really think. Look, the fact of the matter is it will be impossible for them to catch up now. Shame on you. You don't want them here because of the way they are. I mean, it's not like they've been on some mad bender drinking and taking drugs. They're a couple of decent, honest, hard-working girls who just happen... <sighs> just happen to have fallen in love with each other. But do you know what? They don't deserve this. We're not all the same. People are as they are. They shouldn't have to apologise for it. And if you took your head out your backside for one minute, you might realise that. What are you doing? Try to spot the signs, see where it all went wrong. Don't be daft. Oh, look at that. You just had your tonsils out. I remember seeing you in that hospital bed looking all small and pale. I thought I'd die if anything ever happened to you. I loved you so much. Mum. You know, all you want to do is protect your kids, keep them safe. You think you can, that's the stupid thing, you actually think you can. Yeah, well, you was good today, weren't you? Sticking up for us and everything. It's a very tough world out there. Being any kind of different is dangerous. I know. If I could wave a magic wand right now and make you normal, I'm telling you, I would do it. But I can't, so I'm just going to have to wait for the shock to wear off and... and in time I'll get used to a different sort of normal. Hey, I loved them dungarees. I even <laughs> slept in them sometimes. And that's what did it. Come on! Where is everyone? I'm freezing here. You're freezing. My nipples are like bullets. Oh, I think I'll seem calmer this morning. I stopped at Jan's last night. Voluntarily? <laughs> well, they're either that or the doghouse after yesterday. Speaking of which, I'll go and see if Nick's at home. Oh, no, you're all right. I'll go. She's just hoping that she'll catch him in the shower. Relax, Cavalry is here. Oh, yeah? Late night, was it? Mm-hmm. Something like that. Can you open up, please? I've got to get some out, boot. Hey, uh... What's the security guard again? How many times? 10.66. All right. Good morning. Is it? Well, somebody got out there on side of bed. Mm. Oh, if they ever made it there at all. Doctor at one, so I should be back at 2.30 at the latest. Is everything okay? Oh yeah, everything's fine. It's just a check-up. Okay, well take as long as you need, yeah? Thanks. Are you okay? You seem a bit distracted. Oh yeah, just a headache. Well, I could get you some aspirin. There's some in the first aid box. Oh, I've got my very own supply here. Thank you very much, Sally. There's nothing else? No. Thanks again. Okay. Blimey, haven't you heard a knocking? I thought you were meant to be good with your fists. I didn't know I had to. I sort of figured it was my office as well. You know me, I'm sorry you're right. You okay? Yeah, I've got a list of things to do as long as my arm. Why is it Nick here helping you? I'll tell you later. Anyway, I'm busy. What, you, what do you want? Um, can you get these orders, the ones over for you? Mm-hmm. These are meant to be gone first thing. Yeah, well, I didn't want to rush it, just in case I made another cock up. Rush it? Them lot out there are making clothes quicker than you're ticking them off on a list. Get it gone. All right. Keep your wig on. Ah, oh, thanks, love. I always thought you were more of a nut man. You are? Or auto trader, something like that. Oh, right, yeah. It's for Molly, not for me. Uh, oh, is she getting on? Uh, well, she's not getting much sleep. Now we've got Jack stopping with us and all, so thought I'd buy her a magazine cheer up. Well, makes a change from flowers, I suppose. 
or a night out. Oh, I'd love to take her out, but, you know, with a baby and everything. Well, can't you get Jack? Keep his eye on him. <laughs> He's going for a drink in the Legion tonight. Well, Kevin and I can babysit. We haven't got any plans. Oh, I couldn't ask you to do that. Tyrone, when God parents, it comes with a job. <sighs> Are you sure you're not just saying it? Positive. Oh, thanks, Sal. Thanks a bunch. <laughs> <Ta -da>. <laughs> <laughs> I think you made a young man very happy. Oh, it's a while since I've done that. It's a while since I've made anyone happy. How are you and Sophie getting on these days? A bit strange, but we're getting there. I don't doubt it for a second. Right, Hi, love. Hiya. How's my favourite boy, favourite girl, eh? He's asleep and she's shattered. Don't wake him up. I must have walked half of Manchester trying to get him off. You're going to have to fit new tyres on this before long. Well, I can do one better than that. How about a romantic meal at that new tapas bar in town tonight? Uh, yeah, you're not forgetting someone. Already sorted. Sal said her and Kevin babysit. She practically insisted. What? Well, why didn't you tell me before? <laughs> because I wanted it to be a surprise. I thought you'd be pleased. Well, I am. I'm just, um, I'm, I'm not sure I'm ready to be leaving with strangers. But there is godparents, practically family. Come on, you said you needed a break. <sighs> okay. <laughs> right, you get your god rags on. I'll get busy with the swarf figure and I'll see you later. Sorry, mate, love. Got a call out and the traffic was... What's going on? I guess he's babysitting. I hope you don't mind, Sal offered. Hey, and we'll pay the going rate. Oh, of course not. Uh, Pet a surprise, that's all. We could cancel the restaurant and go another night. Oh, don't be daft. We'd love to, wouldn't we, Kevin? Yeah. Right, well, you've got his milk, you've got his nappies, you've got Mr Snuggles the bear, and you've got our mobile numbers. What else? Uh, that's it, I think. If he cries, I normally put him over my shoulder and sing to him. Oh, yeah, he really likes Umbrella by Rihanna. Do you know it at all? No. Oh, well, I can teach it to you if you want. Oh, you can, you can have a good time. We'll see you later. All right, well, uh, we won't be too late. Well, you better not be, because we might not want to give this little one back. <laughs> oh. Bless. Oh, he definitely looks like you. Really? Oh. Makes a nice change from Wayne Rooney or Mr. Potato Head, I suppose. <laughs> Actually, now you mention it. Where are you going? I can't do this. I keep thinking about Jack. I can't leave him on his own. Oh, he's not on his own. Kevin and Sally are with him. Yeah, but I need to be there. Oh, it'd be fine, I promise. Please, Mom, stay for me. You're making it sound like I'm getting. Oh, look at him. He's so perfect. Little eyelashes and little nose. Little fingernails. Oh. Do you know, it's hard to believe that we all started off like this once. Even Janice Battersby. Oh, Kev, hold him while I get his bottle out. Who else? Sir? Don't be so grumpy. He's your godson, after all. Oh, you're a natural. Nah, uh, it's the tapas. Hey, play your cards right, there might be some spicy meatballs with your name on it. <laughs> I can't do this. Do what? Leave Jack. How can I go for a meal in town? I can't even relax a couple of doors away. We've been through this, he'll be fine. But what happens if he's not? What happens if he gets hungry? I packed his bottles. Are you sure? Yeah. But what happens if he gets upset and starts crying? They won't be able to get him back to sleep. They don't know him like I do. Like you do. Please. Right, okay, I'll call the restaurant on the way to council. Is everything all right? We changed our minds about the meal. We wasn't really that hungry. Yeah, where's Jack? He's here. What are you doing with him? I've been changing him. Who said you could do that? Well, what do you want me to do? Just leave him. I'm going to take him home. Um, I'll see you at home. I'm sorry, baby. Have we done something wrong? No, no, it's not you. She's been like this in the pub, getting upset, winding herself up. I think it was just too early for her to leave him with someone else. Well, you better go on. See, she's all right. I'll pack everything up. You can collect it in the morning. Cheers, mate. Ty? Ah, Mr Snuggles. Nice one. What's all that about? The Ty, she's just upset. Upset? It was more than that, Kevin. Did you see the way she snatched a little mite from me like she was scared or something? <laughs> Maybe I'm just not cut out for babysitting. It's not funny. 
You know about women suffering from postnatal depression all the time? I mean, look at Claire Peacock. She went right off a trolley. I mean, OK, she was halfway there, but Molly's not like that. There's definitely something up with her, I'm telling you. Are you nervous? Your toast's a bit burnt, sorry. Never mind burnt toast. It's bridges I'm worried about. If Kevin South told us to get stuffed, I wouldn't blame him. Will you give it a rest? No. They was doing us a flaming favour last night. What, by holding our baby like a sack of spuds? There was no wrong with the way Kev was holding him. He's had two kids of his own. Yeah, years ago, and you're not telling me he didn't drop Rosie on her head at some stage. That is not funny, Dad. And I know you was mired about leaving him, but he was way out of order. You've got to apologise. No chance. They have been golden to us since Jack was born. We'd have never have got through it. Agreed. But I've got to stand on my own two feet at some stage. I don't want to be dependent on the Websters or anyone else for that matter. Morning. How was your night out? Short. That burning smell, is that your toast or my ear holes? Well, it's not you, mate. Um, Do you want a brew, Jack? No, thank you, love. I'll just pop over to Roy's where there is a, a full English with brown sauce with my name on it. Mm. See you later. Swans? Always a bit off this morning. We'll oh, have to be married to our Vera. Now, if I'm not thick skinned, I just didn't want to be a burden. No, no, she loves having you around. It's just hard with the baby, isn't it? All that extra work and sleepless nights. Vera was the same after our tell were born. Short tempered, impatient, having a go at me. Man, it's just a face, you know. That's the best part of 50 years, but it was just a face. <laughs> You've got this to look forward to, son. What? The joys of father. Oh. <laughs> Here, can I get you two lads a pint? That is the least you can do, the amount of bread you took off me last week. Hey, Peter takes the profits, not me. I'm surprised he's not necking champagne as we speak. Why? How much did you lose? A couple of hundred quid. I had to go on the dogs, the way my luck's running. If I'd have backed the air, it'd have fell. <laughs> that nappy's going to be heavier than you are. And... I don't want Fireman Sam on duty again, thank you. This is my last clean top. Come on, chicken. Oh, Jack. Oh, yeah. Hey, what, what, what's the matter? I've got to get him to the doctor's look. Oh, calm down. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. Look at his face. He's covered in it. Baby's got all kinds of rashes, but it's Jesus. better to be safe than sorry. Look, I'll, I'll come with you. Come on. Jesus. He's all right. In rude health, I'm pleased to say. And um, what about the rash? It's a milk rash. They're very common and completely harmless. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I feel daft now, wasting your time. No, no, no. You did absolutely the right thing. Anytime you notice anything untowards, please don't hesitate to come in. <laughs> you don't become a paediatrician the second you give birth. Oh, well, thank you very much. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> He's just trying to be nice. Nice? He can take my pulse any time of the day. It's going under to the dark. <laughs> Oh, is this what I'm going to be like every time there's a rash or a cough or a sniffle? I'll be a nervous wreck in no time. No more than any other mums, but if you ever want a second opinion, you know where I am. OK. Look, this isn't it. No, but I forget I asked. No, no, a friend in need or a friend of a friend, but he just wants to seal the deal with his girlfriend, right? Yeah. Is it true what they say about laughing a woman into bed? Well, that depends if you've got your kecks on at the time. <laughs> what about you and Ma? How would you get her in the mood? Well, honestly. <laughs> Gonna be a mate and all, because if this is out to do with my daughter, is it? No, no way. Things remember about romance, right? Nothing of the kind. It's a business, a negotiation. You reckon? I do. It's a bit crafty. Women hold all the cards, see? Not called Mother Nature for out, you know. I should write this down. <clears throat> it's basic commerce, lad. They got something you want, and to get it, you need to meet their asking price. Could be a, an old bag of chips, a diamond ring, being a good listener. It's turning to be any road. You're going out with my mother, don't forget. Me and Liz, we're a lot too long in the tooth for all that. I don't know, but the younger ones, you see, you've got to... You've got to treat a relationship like a deal. I right? get the upper hand. Keep it. I have no worries on that score. <laughs> I wear the trousers in my house. I do. I'm sure you do, mate, yeah? Chocolates. Soft sense is not hard, mind. Nothing more off-putting than a woman picking toffee off her teeth. Especially if they're in her hand at the time. Got you. And should he go for wine or beer? Wine, defo. Beer's a bit gassy, in it, And you don't want to spoil that first kiss by, you know, especially if you're nervous. 
Good thinking. This is gold, is this? All that glisters, Kirk. All that glisters. I take it that you're seeking advice on the uh, fairer sex. No, it was women, really. Yeah? Now, come with me, if you will, to the beautiful island of Papua, New Guinea. Well, can't. I'm working tomorrow. Bear with me. Now, in the depths of the jungle, you will find the superb bird of paradise. Superb indeed. But never more so than when he wishes to mate. Anybody for uh, any more scratchings? Do you mind, though? I'm trying to create a mood here. Oh, sorry, pal. Yeah, well, ooh, ooh, ooh. You know, his loud call just echoes, echoes through the forest, appealing to any female in the vicinity to come and see his magnificent display. Sounds like the flasher on the red wreck. The female <laughs> arrives and the dance begins. And he clips his tail feathers in a seductive rhythm as he moves around this quarry. And then in a flash, he just transforms himself into just like a shimmering oval illuminated by vivid turquoise plumage. And that, my friends, is how he gets his mate's plumage. It all comes down to plumage. Well, I don't think my friend's got any plumage. Right, well... Oh, go, Kip. Well, it's way past eight. You want to take my paper with me? Well, you can read it down here. Yeah, well, I don't want to get under you. Oh, Jack, you'll never be in the way here. This is your own. And I'm ashamed if I've ever made you feel otherwise. Sleep deprivation is a terrible thing. You're right, our Vera tried depriving me quite a bit. <laughs> I know it's not easy looking after a little nipper and throwing an old codger like hey, me. Hey, yay, yay. You're not an old codger. Come on, fancy top up. I never say no. But you, feet up. I'll do it. You know, I'd have been bricking at me if I'd have seen that rash. I was. I'd have gone to pieces if it weren't for Sally. That is the second time she's bailed us out. We owe her big style. Hi, Lee. Yeah, so Sally's tickets and Julie's rose. It's been Jack leaving her. Why, though? Well, I said that, and then he just said it's none of my business and got all shirty about it. Sounds weird. I mean, never mind theatre tickets. What happens if he starts giving away hundreds of pounds? Thousands, even? Well, yes, hasn't he? He gave us five for baby Jack. Yeah, but that... Well, no, I suppose it ain't any different, is it? No, what you mean is, what if he's going round giving other folk £5,000 for their babies? It's coming. Don't say it, just get mad again. I mean... Bye, Mo. Bye. Bye-bye, baby Jack. Oi, wait a minute. What? You know what you're going on about? Me buying these presents for folk. I mean, there's nothing to worry about, you know, I'm not losing my marbles. I wasn't worried. Tyrone, don't ever play poker, not with a face like yours. These presents were for, were, were just something I wanted to do. There'll be no more. OK, whatever. You're not sending out to Molly, have you? No. Right, OK, right, right. Right, I'll see you later, then. Ah, right, sit down, then. Have you seen Kev? M60 on a call-out. Oh, has he said anything else about Cabaret that we're supposed to be seeing tonight? He did mention it, yeah. You mean it's been going on and on about how he doesn't want to go because musicals are for women and for children. And anyway, he won't be able to sit still that long. He's been giving it all that, hasn't he? Something like that, yeah. I was going to give him a chance to change his mind, but he's not going to, is he? Sorry, do you mind? No, no. Hiya. I thought I should tell you I've run Connie. You've run Connie? Why? Because we want to know what's going on with Jack and she is the one person that can tell us. Anyway, I've done it now, so there's no point telling me I shouldn't. Well, what did she say? That she didn't want to talk on the phone, so she's coming over. <gasps> well, that's great. Now Jack's definitely going to find out. I'm hoping not. No, I'm hoping he's going to be on his walk. So do I. Taryn, is that Molly? Yeah. Can I have a quick word? Molly, hi, it's Sally. Hi. Do you want to go and see Cabaret? Oh. Oh, well, well. Are you still here? Well, I am, yes, I am. Oh, that's just a... Thought you'd have gone for your walk by now. Well, the forecast said it was going to warm up this afternoon, so I thought I'd leave it till then. Do you know that could be somebody knocking at your door? Yeah. Hmm. I'll go and see you this hour. <laughs> <laughs> He's still here. I thought you'd have gone out by now. So what do you want me to do? Connie, is that you? He's urgent. Do you want to go through? I think I'd better. So, how are you? 
Never mind me. What are you doing here? It's my fault. I rang her. Apparently, you haven't been all together honest. Right. Stop there. Now, I know why you wanted me out. Right, and I will go, and you will come with me. Where to? Rovers, where we might get a bit of privacy. What? Well, go on, then. I'll see you later, You love. know, after all I said, I cannot believe you. Look, let's just go if we're going, shall Listen, we? Listen, things were going well. Why don't you just leave well enough alone? I'd have never told them without your say-so. Oh, no, no, no. All right, all right. But I must say, I, I don't know what you think you're playing at. They're so young, though, aren't they? Of course they are. Got a little baby named after me. Well, he's the one you can tell. Not worry him. Oh, Jack, I've thought about you day and night wondering how you've been. <laughs> well, I'm concerned for you. I know. This kind of thing isn't open, you know. Oh, I'm sorry. Like I was saying, I had, I had every intention of telling them both Molly and Tyrone, both of them. So what stopped you? Oh, when I moved in, living alongside them, I could see them. Their whole world revolved around that little baby. And I couldn't risk spoiling it for them. Couldn't. So that's so I'll go back and tell them. But, but not because I told you to. No, because it's what I should have done in the first place. Well... Right. I think Molly's going out, so I'll wait till Tyrone's on his own. Your head down for half an hour, Jack. It'll do you good. Still mad at me for ringing you? No. But you know Jackie can be a bit cantankerous. He just don't like folk going behind his back. So is he all right? Well... He'll let you know as soon as he isn't. Right, I fed him, I put him down five minutes ago and he's asleep. Yeah, same as every night. Malt, I know all this. Except it's not the same, is it? Because I'm not going to be here. All right, well, it's the same apart from that. All right, will you keep that baby monitor switched on? Of course I will. Well, I could switch it off. He'll probably wake about nine o'clock. He'll need his nappy changing and he will definitely need feeding. Oh, that'll be Sal. Won't be a sec. <sighs> And then she'll be on the phone every chance she gets. I'm just checking everything's all right. Hiya, in fact, in. she'll probably do it halfway through the show and they'll chuck her out. <laughs> Hiya, Sal. Hiya. Oh, hi, Jack. Are you all right? Oh, very well, thank you. Right, I'm nearly finished. I'm just telling him what he has to do and then we can go. It's like I've never seen a baby before. <laughs> do you know, when I had Rosie, it was months before I'd leave her with Kevin. Well, you don't think I should? No, no, I didn't mean that. No, it's just because Kev was no use, but I am brilliant. Right. Well, there's a bottle made up in the fridge, so you'll have to heat it. Not too hot, just so that it's warm. Yeah, I know. And once he's had that, do not be in too much of a rush to put him down. He won't be. Look, he can stop up all night with us if he wants Kai Jack. Uh, you, whoa, 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 I don't want that. I wasn't serious. So right, if... just... If there's anything that you're not sure about, ring, ring you. Me. Yes, of course. I've got it now. Go on. They'll be fine. I know. Right, come on, before I change my mind. Mm. <laughs> Have a good night. Well, we've got free tickets. We're bound to. Bye. 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 Oh, thought I'd never get her out of the house. So, anyway. Sorry, Jack, I best just... Oh, you go on, lad. Go on. Don't worry about me. I think he's off now. If he's not, I'll bring him down for a bit later and watch some telly. All right, before you do, there's something I want to tell you. I should have told you before. And I should have told you when I turned up with my suitcase. Is this about you and Connie? Me and Connie? No, no, no. Mind you, it was Connie that told me off and made me see sense. Jack, you don't have to tell us anything that you don't want to. I am here because this is where I want to be at the end. See, I'm, I've not been feeling very well lately, and, and I've kept putting the doctors off like you do, don't you? You know what? Anyway, you know, enough of the ins and outs. What it boils down to is you can't do it for me. I'm, I'm, I'm dying. Simple as that. Coronation. I wasn't going to tell anybody, but Connie put a gun to me head. Why? What's wrong with you? Cancer. 
non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, if you want the full Monty. What's that? Does it matter? Does it matter? You're the only father I've ever had. Of course it matters. Ah, uh, cancer in the white blood cells which spreads from the lymph glands. And Bob's your uncle. What, and there's nothing that they can do? Not for me, no. Well, Sally Webster had cancer and she fought it off. Ah, she caught hers early. Well, how long have you had it? Too long. And you didn't even know? Well, I wasn't feeling well for a while, but you put that down to old age, don't you? Then I had a few routine tests and uh, it all came out in the wash. There's got to be something that they can do. I have had every test known to man. Yeah, but I've seen TV programmes, right, where people are only given, like, two months to live uh, and then they're still going uh, years listen, later. Listen, listen to me, please. It's advanced, it's aggressive, it's in every part of my body. It's too late. We all have to do it, though, don't we? Kick the bucket. How can you joke about it? Because I'm not going to let it get me down, that's how. I can't believe that there's nothing they can do. I mean, Sally had radiotherapy or something. Yes, I, I could have had some of that, yeah. Well, then why don't you? Because it won't cure me. So why go through all that just for the next couple of months? That summer? Not for me, it isn't. You're sounding like... like you want to go. No! What is the point of going through the agony when the, the end there's no quality of life? I've had a good innings. I'm, I'm not complaining. No, I'm not buying this. this Sally, she, she's Sally, fine. Sally knew if she got through this, she'd have another 40 years. 40 good years, healthy years, with a family and, and a future to look to. Yeah, well, you've got a family. You've got me, you've got Molly, you've got your yes, grandson. No. And do you not want to be there when he says his first words or, or walks his first steps? I would like nothing better, Ty. But it's not going to happen. Sean are going to be all right on their own. Well, why wouldn't they be? Oh, I'm still a bit uncomfortable about them living together under the same roof. I suppose I'm being a bit old fashioned. Joys of parenthood, eh? Hey, I'm sorry, by the way, if I've, uh, if I've been interfering with the baby. Not really? Well, I have. I mean, I'm getting a bit broody at my time of life. I think it must be that. But I promise I'm going to stay well clear in future. <laughs> You're broody? Well, I'm 43. I'm at the last chance saloon as far as having kids is concerned. Still got time, then? <sighs> Kevin wouldn't want one. I mean, he's got enough on with the ones he's already got. And even if he did, I, I couldn't put my body through all that again, not after the cancer. It must have been a terrible time. Yeah, I mean, there was one point, it was about three weeks into it all, when I thought I wasn't going to get through it. Really? It's just so hard trying to find the will to go on. Especially when there's no guarantees it's going to work. So how did you manage? simple. Kevin. I mean, we've had our ups and downs over the years, but he pulled out all the stops on that okay. I think it's quite true to say that I wouldn't be here without him. I just can't get my head round this. Oh, it'll take a while. You got used to fear us going, didn't you? No, I didn't, actually. I still miss her. We both do. I'll go and make a cup of tea. Cheer us both up. How's Connie taking it? Not good. Is that why you moved out? We did have a bit of a disagreement, I. I asked her to kill me, but she wouldn't. Kill you? No, what I mean is I asked her to help me die if the pain got too bad, but she, she wouldn't agree. Well, I don't blame her. Anyway, things got a bit fraught. I packed my bags. This is the only place I wanted to be. Well, I hope you don't expect me to. You wouldn't have even known I was ill, only for Connie. There is something you can do for me, though, lad. Just 
name it. I've only got a couple of weeks left, so help me enjoy me. What did you think? I saw you looking at your watch a couple of times. <laughs> uh, no, it's um, it's good fun. I just have this problem with musicals. One minute, they're all stood around talking, and the next, they're singing a song. <laughs> that is the idea. I know, but it feels so weird. <laughs> we don't have to go back to the second half if we don't want. Oh, no, I wasn't saying that. It'd be a shame to waste the tickets. Well, I didn't pay for them. I know, wish I knew who did. Are you not enjoying it? Well, I'd just as soon go for a drink. It always feels a bit naughty, that one. Isn't it? Like you're bunking off school or something. Unless you want to get back home. Uh, no. Been ages since I've had a girls' night out. <laughs> not surprising with a new baby. Yeah, well, it's not just that. I've um, not exactly been Miss Popular since I left Tyrone. Well, you're back together again now. Yeah, but people have long memories. <laughs> yeah, you weren't my favourite person at the time, I have to say. There you go. <laughs> But who am I to judge? We all deserve a second chance at some point. Yeah. Maybe you're right. Do you know, I think we should get to know each other a bit better. Why don't we finish these and go on somewhere else? Eh? Yeah. <laughs> well, then, plates back. We're having these out of paper as nature intended. And a big bag of scratching. Vera would turn in a grave. Oh, Vera wouldn't begrudge me eating what I like just now. And I can. Now you're getting the picture. And you'll have no money worries. You and the little fellow will get a nice little nest egg. I don't want your money. Well, you're getting it. You and whoever deserves a bit of love. Well, better to die for. <laughs> I will it happen when it comes. Let's not worry about that. Eh? I just want you to think about helping me squeeze every last drop over the last couple of weeks. Will you do that for me? I'll do whatever you want. That's my boy. <laughs> that is the first time I've let my hair down since Jack was born. Oh, well, you <laughs> probably needed it. So, thank you. My pleasure. Mm. I really enjoyed it. Me too. We should do it again. And, um, I'm really sorry. For what? For any problems that there's been between us in the past. I know that I can be a bit touchy sometimes. Can't we all? Kevin is a lucky man to have you. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> we'll just... <laughs> night. Night, anyway, night. Molly. <laughs> yeah. Only me! <laughs> Did you have a good night? Yeah, we um, we didn't see the second half. We just went for a drink instead. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> mm. How's he been? Good as gold. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Typical. Yeah, <No>, bad. <laughs> Do you want me to go? No, no, I'll go and see to him. <sighs> I'm gonna tell you not. She needs to know yet. We don't keep secrets from each other. She's got enough on her plate with the baby. You say not yet, but the way you've been talking, you could just She's go in a minute. just had a nice night out. You're going to spoil it, are you? Oh, Papa. You need to change. I'll grab an apple. Oh, will you just take him a second, oh, Jack? Oh, well, indeed. Oh, oh come on. There you go, and you say he's been good till now. Oh, he's been good. Not to squeak out of him now, night. He's a little puddle dog, can't Yes, 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 he's a good boy. How do you do that? Uh, tricks of the trade. <laughs> you can come again, can't you, Ty? Babysitter in chief now, I reckon. I hope you're not planning on going anywhere. Not right this minute. <laughs> mm. So, did you and Sal have a good time? Um. well, yeah. Kind of weird, but yeah. What do you mean, weird? Oh, I don't know, just weird. How was your night? That was a bit weird, no. Where's Molly? Upstairs with a baby. What are you doing? We're going out this afternoon. What? Where? 
here, where they have chicken goujons, chunky chips, and salsa dip, recommended by Steve McDonald. Club dancing club. I know, would you believe it? I've never been. I mean, I'll, I'll never see the Taj Mahal, but that is one wonder of the world that I can scratch off my list. I can't go lap dancing at lunchtime. All oh, right. Oh, dear. When can you go? Next month, next year? I could be flaming dead then. I want to go lap dancing today. Right, I'll sort some out. Mm. Two minutes, gentlemen, then I shall take you to the land of female promise. <laughs> I feel very conspicuous, Sire. It's like everyone knows that we're going to a lap dancing bar at lunchtime. Why are we doing this? Because I've never been to a lap dancing club before. Because my last chance before I get reunited with our period. Mind you, I don't suppose they'd have lap dancing clubs up there. But that sounds like heaven to me. But it... Oh, hello, uh, you two. We look very smart. You're off somewhere special? No, no, nowhere special, you know. The... Just thought we'd sit around in decent clothes for a change, that's all, it don't mean anything. I'm taking him for a posh meal, but he's a bit nervous. <laughs> Never been before to a posh restaurant, mm. so I, I don't even know what forts he is. Or oh, I'm sure you'll be fine. What's that? Oh, the, the uh, church roof is leaking. We need to raise at least £2,000, so I was hoping they'd let me leave it on the bar for a few weeks. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, keep that in there. Oh, Oh, it's very generous, thank you. Yeah, you can have that. I know. Uh, oh, thank you both. Uh, your cab awaits, gentlemen. Oh, don't look so nervous. If you're worried, just watch what Jack does and you do the same. Oh, I remember my first time. Everything looked so lovely. My mouth was watering. I think we better leave. Yeah. Um, I'll just put him down. Can't stay long because Carla's cracking the whip, but just thought I'd check whether you were suffering this morning. Well, I had a very thick head at four o'clock when his lordship wanted a feed. Oh, you poor thing. I'm so sorry. I'm a really bad influence on you. Oh, no. I can get myself in trouble all on my own. You OK? No, not really. I've just seen Tyrone sneaking off into Steve McDonald's taxi. I know what that was. Really? Yeah, Tyrone's got a dentist appointment this afternoon. No, he hasn't. Yeah, he has. He told Kevin. Uh, I went to the dentist with Tyrone three weeks ago. His teeth are fine. He did not have a dentist appointment. Besides, he had his best shirt on. Don't put your best shirt on to go and see the dentist. Oh, Molly, no. I know what you're thinking, but listen, Tyrone loves you more than anything. I'm sure there's a simple explanation. When I got back from walking Baby Jack, I found that in his discarded overalls. Oh, well, there you go. That explains everything. It's for a lap dancing club. Yeah. At least he's not seen another woman. No, we see a lot of them while I stay here and look after his son. And how much do these things cost anyway? Can't afford to throw our money away on naked ladies. Come on, open the door. Right, well, thanks for coming round. Well, let me know how you get on. Yeah, oi! You, oi! Me? I want a word with you. Come here. I've got loads of... Now! Only me. Ma? I'm just trying to put Jack off. We'll be down in a moment. Oh, I love. Hi. Have a good day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine, yeah. Do you, uh Get up to anything exciting? No, no. Oh, um, you dropped this earlier. Oh, yeah, them, yeah. Uh, Kev reckons they could put a lot of work our way. Oh, but stripping down engines. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> you got a tie on under your overalls? No. Well, it... Look, Jack, if you want to spend your afternoon ogling women. Make it women. Fine, your choice. Personally, I think you're belittling your Vera's memory. Oh, no, hang on a minute. But you have a wife at home, a baby at home. I didn't enjoy it. And 
Sorry, Jack, you don't want to hear this. I know I've been understandably a little bit tired at the moment, so if you're feeling deprived, I'm very sorry. I don't feel deprived. I only went to keep Jack company. Oh, that's the most pathetic excuse I've ever heard! No, no, it's true. I was agging him on. I mean, if you want to blame somebody, blame me. Well, he's got a mind of his own. He can say no. Sorry, I suggested this. All my fault. I think I might pop in and see Dulcie Froggart. Who? Old friend of mine. See you both later. Yeah, I've got to go too. What bugs me is not you salivating over young girls in some sleazy club. I never looked at any of them, honest. I'm dead on my feet here. If you've got a spare hour, I need you here helping. If Jack asked me to do something, I'd just do it, yeah? No questions asked. In that case, you better think about your priorities. Right now, Jack is my number one priority. And your wife and your baby? Anything I can do to make him happy in the little time that he's... Little time? What do you mean, little time? Ty? You made me promise not to tell anyone. Tell... God, that's why he came to stop with us. He's come home to die. Yeah. What's wrong with him? Cancer, limbs, something or other. How long's he got? No one knows, but it's weeks rather than months. And there's no chance he'll get better. He's just accepted it. He's just took it on the chin. How can he be so brave? I can't believe it. He seems fine. He doesn't want to make a fuss. He just wants to enjoy himself. That's why he took him to a lap dancing club. Well, you think of Jack as some comfy, cosy old man, but he used to get up to all sorts when he was younger. Maybe he just wants to remember what it was like. That's why he gave us all that money for Jack. Why didn't you tell me, Ty? He didn't want anyone to know. He wouldn't have told me unless he had to. All that I've just said about belittling Vera's memory, I feel awful. I've just insulted a dying man. He wasn't to know. Exactly. Everything I said feels stupid. He just wants things to be normal. How can they be normal? We're losing the best man we know. Are you two still arguing about this flaming lap dancing oh, club? Jack! told her, Jack, I'm sorry I had to. And if you're going to be cross with anyone, be cross with me. I made him tell me. Look, I'm not cross with anyone. Only me for dropping him in it. You can go to as many lap dancing clubs as you like. I wouldn't go back. found the experience demeaning. Jack. Oh, you see, this is what I've been trying to avoid. Fuck getting maudlin. What do you expect us to do, eh? Have a knees up? Yes. No, you, you can weep and wail as much as you want when I'm in the ground, but while I'm still here, I want... I want to be with folk that are cheerful. Well, you've come to the wrong house, then. Right. From now on, no long faces, we promise. And we'll do whatever you want. <laughs> right, I mean, will you try not to tell anybody else, because I don't... I don't want people sidling up, just going, hey, Jack, I'm so sorry. Like I just did. <laughs> no, it means something coming from you. But I just don't know how much more I can take. Well, we won't breathe a word, we promise. We won't mope, but we will cherish every single moment that we've got with you, OK? Champion, get a kettle on. So you... <sighs> Where's Jack? Both Jacks are asleep. Mm. Look, uh, don't tell him about last night, eh? Yeah. There's no shame he's being upset, you know. Yeah, I know, but he's got enough on his plate without worrying about me. Mm. Oh, sorry, I'm over. Uh, I'm not next time. <laughs> but uh, you've gone back to bed. No, I'm run out of facts. Well, I could have got them for you. Yeah? I am quite capable of walking round to the cabin. Well, for the time being, anyway. Have you had any lunch? A cup of tea and a fag. Jack. I'll go and get you some fish and chips if you want. No, no, no. Saving myself till later. Right, you brew up. You, take weight off. Get down here. Come on. Look, kids. Don't wrap me in cotton wool. I just want to do what I like when I like with whatever time I've got left. I'm a happy as Larry here with you three. And a life full of memories. There you go, my love. Oi, what's that face for? How beautiful is that? Oh, give over. Oh, come on, I'm about hundreds of these. 
I've worn one or two. I mean, it's <laughs> about Vera. Yeah, I remember. I wouldn't make them for my Cyril. I said, I'm sick of the sight of them. Well, if you open me up, you'll find half man, half hot pot. Not to mention half cut. No, no, you mean the first bite. I would take this to my desert island, Betty's hot pot. I bet he's worried it's going cold. And I've enjoyed every morsel, thank you, Lily. Thank you. You silly beggar. Oh, em I'm just orange to you, sweetie. Emily, what are you having? I'm in the chair. Nothing just yet, thank you. I'm, I'm looking for Rita. I've had the most wonderful news. Oh, have you won the lottery? In a manner of speaking, an unknown benefactor has donated £2,000 to our church roof fund. Oh, great! And that was exactly our shortfall. We have a guardian angel in our midst. It's only money, obviously not short. Now we can get the repairs done before winter sets in and does even more damage. <laughs> And the uh, unknown benefactor, eh? Can you just move your head a bit? Your halo's blinding me. If there is a god, he's got one hell of a property portfolio, aren't he? It's not, I just wanted to get in these good books before I went. Uh, hey, 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 come on, come on. Crack a smile for a second, man. Just, uh, <laughs> can't imagine life without you. Tell the lad about me, will you? Every day. Oh, no, come on, you, you, you bore him stiff, no. I just <laughs> want to be mentioned in dispatches every now and again, that'll do. People defy the odds all the time. <laughs> you could live for another two years for all the doctors know. Hey, what about that woman in the Daily Mirror? Complete remission. Doctors can't explain it. I baffled our Vera for half a century. No, no reason why I can't do it to fellas in white coats. Yeah. Exactly. You're a good girl. A five makes ten. She reckons he needs the brownie points in heaven. He's so matter of fact. And we're not to tell Emily it was him, by the way. He's getting quite stroppy in his old age. He doesn't look like he's dying. But he is, Ty. We should take a cue from him, head on. Yeah. There's things we can do for him, you know, take the strain off. Yeah, yeah, everything. So, um, we can get in touch with the Macmillan nurses, get advice, find a hospice in case he needs it. We're not going to dump him in an hospice, no way. No, no, I'm not saying that. Well, we won't need a hospice. We can look after him, eh? Yeah, of course we will. I'm just saying if he needs specialist care or something, I don't know. No, I'm just saying it won't do any harm to be prepared. Well, we can be as prepared as we like, but he dies here, right? Yeah, I know. Jack dies here. Dies at home. OK. Hey. Uh mm. Let Len still keep him. Yeah. And, uh, Jack's singing to him in his cot. Really? <laughs> I don't think he knew I was there, so I just left him to it. Didn't want to embarrass him. Oh, <laughs> I'm really glad he's getting a chance to spend more time with Baby. Yeah, and uh, little Jack recognises him now. Reckon? Defo, I can tell. I just wish things was a bit different. I know, I know. Look, I was thinking about the christening. Maybe we ought to move it forward. I'm sorry. I don't want to sound morbid, but... Yeah, you're right, love, yeah. Yeah. I'll give the vicar a ring, explain the situation. Yeah, and if he says no, there's other churches. Yeah. I don't care if he gets christened in a Buddhist monastery. I want Jack there. Hmm? Yeah. I'm sure he can fit us in next week, no problem. Really? At that short notice? Yeah, it's not like weddings. Vicar reckons that most people don't bother with baptisms. They don't think it matter. It matters all right. I've got our Terry christened. Look how he turned out. If he tried it now, he'd get third degree burns. <laughs> Well, I'll get on to Liz to see if she'll do us a spread in the Rovers. Yeah, yeah. tell her, I'll push the boat out. Cost no object, I'm paying. No, Jack, you don't have to do that. Yeah, I am, cos I want to. I appreciate you changing... You Jack, know. it's no problem. But we don't want to take your money off you. All right, what am I going to do with it? Build a pyramid on the Red Wreck. Here lies Jack Duckworth with his treasure. Weatherfield's answer to King Tut, I don't think so, no. Look, I, I, I don't know anybody I would... I'd rather leave it to you than, than you two and that little lad. Well, if you're sure. Positive. And tell Betty. No rationing on the pickles. This is going to be a proper celebration, this. A day to remember. <laughs> there it is again. Paint or glue or something. Can't you smell it? Oh, it's probably just the garlic. I'll get it. Definitely stronger in the kitchen. Hello. 
Hi. Yeah. Hello. Hi. We're not barging in, are we? Here's my little angel. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, of course you can. Oh. There you go. Hello, darling. Oh, he's so oh. gorgeous. <laughs> Um, I just came to say that the christening is definitely next Thursday. Oh, great. Hey, Sophie, remind me to book an appointment with Audrey. I want my best for my godson. Oh, I'll put the kettle on, eh? Mm. Lovely. Hello, treasure. So, um, how was Madrid? Oh, it was lovely. Yeah. Lots of sightseeing and shopping. And the food, you can get an omelette the size of your hat. Well, I'm glad you had a good time. <laughs> can you smell paint or something? Uh, yeah, I can, actually. Oh, don't worry. He's not mine. It's baby Jack. Yeah, I used to sing that to you when you was a baby. My gran used to sing it to me. Do I hold him? Kevin, what are you doing? You can't hold the baby with lucky overalls on. Sorry. Oh, what's that silly Uncle Kevin doing, eh? Sorry, I uh, wasn't thinking. Well, go and get changed, then you can hold him. Go on. <laughs> Just tell him Molly were thinking about getting an aquarium for the conservatory. You're not getting a fish tank. No, an aquarium. Tea ready? Um, I'll put the veg on. Oh, ta, love. <laughs> Molly and I were just talking about the christening. Next Thursday. Yeah, party in the Rovers afterwards. We're going to make it a really nice day. Right, I should get going. Tara will be wanting a tea too. Oh, can Kevin have a hole first? Um, oh, typical fella. He's not going to bite you. Yeah? Uh, oh, come on. It's perfect. Oh, you see, he's as soft as anything deep down. Um, I really need to get going. Hey, before you go, you know what they say? Give a baby silver and it'll have good fortune its whole life. Oh, OK. Well, that's an old wife's tale. Yeah, well, I'm an old wife. I'll uh, see you about. Right, see you later. Bye. Hey, Mum, I found out what was making that smell. Rosa has left some nail varnish open. Oh, I knew I could smell something. That's going to be ruined now. Mm, I'll chuck it. You can't just come around like this and ambush me. Nobody's ambushing you. You and Sal are his godparents now. Look at how tight weirder if I didn't come round. No buts. This is the way it is. You're his godfather, that's all. The sooner you get used to it, the better. 